Hello, my name is Sir Lionheart. We are here about to do a little glance into Star Ocean, the Divine Force, which is the demo that we are about to play for today. It is a part of a special day. We're going to play one of, well, this is one of the few demos we are going to be playing. It is a special day known as Demolition Day, where we are going to be playing several demos. And, um, Right now, we're going to start with the Divine Four Star Ocean. Now, I've played one, two, three, and four. Never beat one or two, but I have beat three and four and five. And I got to say, three was probably my favorite out of the four. Well, the, the, the five I've played. And uh, I guess this is six. All I got to say is I'm, I'm excited to see what happens here. Oh, they got the nice, oh, I like the sounds. Star Ocean has always had really good sound design, really good jingles, really good sound effects. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what they do with this new one. Prioritize frame rate, prioritize image. Uh, I don't know. It's been a while since I played on the, the, the PS5. Let's go with the frame rate. All right. Star Ocean, the Divine Force. Now, the thing is, I know this, they're bringing back the whole choose your character's perspective from two, where you get to choose between a male and a female protagonist, right? And then the game plays, well, the story's perspective is a little bit different depending on the character you start with. Interesting. So who we, who should we play? You cannot choose your protagonist in this demo? <laughs> Why would they do that to me, bro? They they made the illusion of choice yet again. Okay, all right. If it it is a demo, so we're just gonna go with the what it is. You cannot select the games. Okay. Okay. But you can select. You can choose Japanese or English. We're gonna go with English because we are based in USA. So here we go. We're gonna see what's going on with the Star Ocean. Star Ocean Five, this I felt ocean like of stars. Who Star first Ocean gazed up at it, dreamt that. It All right, cool. So I would like I was saying before I got uh, interrupted by this uh, blank screen known as Elena. <laughs> Star Ocean Five, I was hyped for. Environments were gorgeous. Game looked great. Character design great. Gameplay was okay, but. We played it for a little bit and you realize you only go to like four different areas and you backtrack for like 15 hours of the game and then you beat it legitimately one of the most. I, I think I beat that game in like 16 hours or 20 hours or something. It was a, such a short RPG. I know it was like a they didn't have a big budget for it. It was like so much potential. The role system was pretty dope. And then it's like. A lot of things just fell apart, man. Cause it's like after like the first four hours, it's like, oh, we're doing the tells us a stereo thing where the rock, paper, scissors mechanic just stops working because the enemies just get iron stance and it doesn't work anymore because uh they said screw it. We're not gonna let you do anything against these enemies. So there was like certain mechanics that just kinda only worked against you rather than for you after like the first few hours and then it was a, a lot of things i wish that were better about five but i'm gonna stop talking we're gonna just do this demo and see how it is it held the key to humanity's future how vast the universe must have seemed to them unending and eternal filled with infinite possibility but if only those dreamers knew what i know now that humankind harbors a voracious hunger one not even the limitless cosmos can sate. Did you say cosmos? Oh boy, I can't wait to roll for cosmos. <laughs> hey, yo, this. Hey, yo, is that coffee, my bro? <sighs> uh, another 24 hours and we're off the clock. Gotta say, this has been one easy gig. Yes, I suppose it has. Would you care for more coffee, Ray? Sure. Don't get ahead of yourself, Ray. Uh, Captain. Seriously, something's up today. I can feel it. I ain't gonna cap. Sixth sense again. I'll take your word for it. 
Human's intuition is a mystery. It just it looks like Hey, danger tends to rear its ugly head when you least expect it. Maybe pirates are sneaking up on us as we speak. Oh, ha ha, laugh it up, you guys. <laughs> For real though. You've got to relax. Okay, Look these doll-like like models have always creeped me out See, since four. This is what you get for ignoring me. Probably just some random asteroid field or something. Like three, three's models still look pretty good compared to like four and sixes right now, dude. I'm not gonna cap. Scanning craft, verified. Pan Galactic Federation battleship, the Astoria. As in their latest and greatest. I heard it also has a Kenny on board. What's it doing so hey, far? Hey, a Kenny. Business? That's like this series, Sid. Warning. Phase cannon fired. Distance 350,000 clicks. Take evasive action. Starboard thrusters to full power. There's no time. Everyone brace for impact. I tell you what, this game already has more action sequences in it than the previous one. Patch a signal clue. Tell them we're not hostile, damn it. No response. Second strike incoming. Oh no, it's the Reapers. It's the Reapers. Get schematics on screen. Find us a way out of here now. Good. Cannons fired at our projected course. Make it stop! Damn. Shields down to 12%. Weapons activity detected. Readying third strike. Still no response from the Astoria. It seems they have no intention of letting us go. Does that mean we're gonna die? Oh, uh, we dead, aren't we? Nothing. Ray. They've ceased fire. Your orders. Abandon ship. All crew members, get to an escape pod. Wait. We must consider the cargo. She kind of looked like Mirage from uh, These are three. We're dealing with here. If we don't clear out now. We're goddamn space dust. This job isn't worth our lives. Captain's orders. Evacuate. You know what? I respect that. He said this job isn't worth our lives, bro. Oh my god. Where are you going? What kind of space? You got a loose end to tie up. Don't worry. I'll be right behind you. That outfit, though. I'll be fine. Bruh. So, uh. On. Open you stupid. Oh, I think they cut out something there. From this section of the ship. I think they cut out like a gameplay section. Won't be able to open that door. Elena? The Astoria has fired on us. I'm sorry, but there's not enough time to save the cargo before impact. You have Don't worry about that. That's more than enough time. Now help! Yes, Captain. Yes, Captain. No, hey, what the stop. bruh what ye you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Sit your ass down. Elena! I'm the captain now. The crew of the Edis needs you. Good luck, Ray. And goodbye. Bruh. No! Yes! Dude, she that strong? She picked up Ray? Picked up Ray like he was a child. The race has super strength, so she's the basically Mirage. Okay, okay. According to the latest records, nine of the 49 escape pods have been successfully jettisoned and are now untraceable. Yeah, I feel like there was supposed to be some more scenes in. Yeah. Gazed up at it. Dreamt that it. Yeah, yeah. So it feels kind of like they're skipping stuff because it's like a demo.
Damn, each escape pod was only good enough for one person? Unending and eternal, filled with infinite possibility. Setting course, fourth planet of the Aster Star System, warp 2.1, estimated arrival, five days. An underdeveloped planet? I can't take this! <laughs> but humanity is insatiable. It is that hunger, that bottomless greed, that drives them. And they will not rest until they have claimed every last star in the sky. Baka. Escape vessel located within communication range. <gasps> That's gotta be Chloe. I want, is this before or after the UP3? Ray? Oh, thank goodness. Is Elena okay? It is you. Man, I'm glad to hear your voice. Elena, she... She's safe. So let's you and me worry about our own hides. That's Cap. We're headed for an underdeveloped planet, Ray. Relax. People back home probably just got our mayday call. Coming. It's so okay. We get here, just think of this as an We're smarter than most of the people on the underdeveloped planet. We can just completely control them with our superior intelligence. Relax. Hey, one thing I, I one thing I'm also noticing is like the lip sync is messed up. It could just be because of my uh, capture software. So we're just gonna kind of. Give it a second there, and we're gonna reactivate it. Uh oh. Chloe. Thrusters got messed up. Answer me. Shoot. Just hold on. I'm coming, okay? Star Ocean, the divine force. Oh baby, let's get it. If only those dreamers knew what I know now, that you can only push the universe so far before it starts to push back. Arriving on Aster 4, planetary surface found to be... Little does she know that I am a fighting dreamer. Initiating emergency protocol, distress signal activated. All right. Let's hope someone picks that up. Otherwise, we are SOL. When you say SOL, do you mean soul bad guy? I don't, I don't know what you mean by that. <laughs> icons mark your next destination in the story. Use the icons to proceed to your destination. Oh, my legs are freaking killing me. Could do with a stretch. Always super responsive. Holy shit. All right, I like that. I like how responsive everything is. Like, as soon as I move, he moves. When I move, you move. All right, what's stop mode? Freeze time with stop mode by pressing the touchpad. You can take your time to use items, change up your strategy, and select targets. Okay. When performing quick HP recovery, you can use a series of two-star items automatically to heal a certain amount of targets. HP cannot be used during battle. Press circle to cancel quick HP recovery. Well, the pod's electronics seem to be working just fine. It is just for emergency escape, though, so useless now. So basically, the, the freeze time is just, hey, hybrid. You want to do turn-based? You can just basically do turn-based and slow stuff down by right. freezing everything. Computer, give me all known locations of Vetus crew members. Unable to locate escape crafts jettisoned from the Edis. The Edis. Of course. So then where's Chloe's pod? I saw her enter orbit. The vessel's descent was interrupted by an electromagnetic cannon. The cannon. onboard computer was likely damaged in the attack. Underdeveloped my ass. Computer, get an emergency signal through to my brother. Antonio Lawrence. What the? Be quick about it. That's such an American name, bro. Antonio Lawrence. That's like something a japanese like person thought a, a japanese developer thought an american name sounded like antonio lawrence Whoa. antonio lawrence you there take this bruh whoa, whoa. 
Oh, I thought she was saying the enemy take this. Ooh, ooh, okay. You've a death wish. Two arms. Looks like the kid out of uh, Final Fantasy XIV. No idea what's going on, but not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. I <laughs> let's rumble. Yo, I appreciate that. Jave with the forty-four months. Raymundo. Please. Matoy Sakuraba always knows how to make a good Star Ocean battle thing. Tells, I don't know. But he always brings his he always brings the heat for Star Ocean for some weird reason. I like it. The battle theme is very Star Ocean like. Different skills allow you to use items and buffs or debuffs. Damage enemy using skills which are assigned to square, circle, and triangle. Reduce all enemies' HP to win the battle, obviously. You need the fixed amount of AP to use a particular assigned skill if you do not have enough AP. The skill will not activate even if you press a button. You can cancel the final motion at the end of a skill by pressing a different button. You will activate the next skill immediately and let, uh, let you take your next action quickly without any delay. Okay. Oh, that was free. Okay, that that music was great. Thanks for that. Don't know what I would have done if you. Silence. Who are you? <laughs> Sheesh. And if I tell you, you'll let me go, right? Let you go? After witnessing you exiting a foreign ship? <laughs> You're more fool than you look. Wait. <laughs> Uh, you two know that's a ship? Let me guess. You're the assholes who shot us down, aren't you? Incoming long range subspace transmission from Antonio Lawrence. Lawrence. Huh? Antonio Lawrence. Raven. It's me, Antonio. Can you hear me? Ray, come in. I knew you weren't alone. <laughs> Show yourself. Huh? Who in the hell are you? This isn't Raymond Lawrence. <laughs> right. Hey, asshole. Harm a single hair on my brother, and your planet scorched Earth. You hear me? Raymond, where are you? Bruh. How is this possible? This voice? I see no one. Uh, big ask, I know, but mind if I answer him real quick? After that, I swear, I'm all yours. Very well. Princess. If he truly had armed fighters waiting, we would be slain several times over by now. Go on. Do not keep your comrade waiting, Sir Raymond Lawrence. Oh, why, thank you, milady. And uh, as for your butler or whatever, mind telling him to back it up? The dialogue is so much as more like wish, faster paced than the previous game. I like it already. In good faith. In exchange, you will tell us who you are and the nature of your talking airship. Bruh. Awesome. Okay. Sounds like we got a deal. What the feds don't know can't hurt them. What the feds don't Antonio? know won't hurt them indeed. Oh, Ray, are you okay? Tony. Yeah, define okay. Had a run in with the Federation and. It didn't end too well for the Yidus. What the hell? Emergency landing on some planet called Aster 4. Locals are real friendly. And listening right now. Are you shitting me? Chloe's down here somewhere too. But I lost track of her pod on entry. And big question mark on the rest. Look, you've got to get here, man. We need you. Sir Raymond, Antonio. Hey, that voice. That one of Aster's friendly locals? I can guarantee Raymond's safety while he is stranded in this land. On one condition. You answer my question. Brother. Are you aligned with the Vale Empire? The who? Yeah, uh, don't even know him. Vile dissembler. Albert. Your comrades. Have you any idea of their whereabouts? Well, at the moment... Not a clue. A girl named Chloe was riding one of these when she crashed way that away. And this ship, is it possible for anyone to pilot it? Yeah. I mean, that's kind of the point of it. That said, 
Mine's run out of juice, so it's not going anywhere for the time being. A future mechanic. So, if we provide it with more of this juice, theoretically, would we be able to pilot more it? More of this juice? <laughs> Aren't you a curious one? Huh? <laughs> Can it be? Hey, speak of the devil. Madness. Oh, so this is madness. Computer, get me a read on that craft. Was it from the Yidis? Who's on it? Readings indicate the pod was also ejected from the Yidis. The Yidis? Yidis, no the Yidis. Signal detected. Is there a town or something in that direction? Um, not a town, no. Only the Madoom ruins. Albert, you must see this. Uh, Highness. Thanks for the info. Oh, and, uh... Gonna hang on to this for a while longer. Halt. Sorry, buddy, but no can do. Hold there. We will accompany you. The ruins can be a treacherous place, and two friendly locals could assist. Oh, for the love of. Ah, fair point. Thank you. You may call me Leticia, and this gentleman here is Albert. Stand down, Albert. We are here to help him. What up, Albert? Clear? As you wish. See that fade doesn't look natural, so I think they awesome. cut some hey, like cutscene content. We'll catch up later, all right? For the demo. It's just luck. For pacing. That. Stay safe down I there. see. That has to be like a, a demo thing. There's no way it's not. <laughs> you guys, I'll explain the ins and outs of all this junk once I know my crew's safe. So. We got a deal? Yes, we do. Shall we then, Raymond? Uh, uh, wait, no more full name stuff. Just Ray is good. <laughs> All right, uh, Ray. Awesome. Okay, let's move. She had pink hair, she'd just be Estelle. Oh, we got a roll, okay. We got a fuel skill. Is there a save point? Okay, you can short your characters, check their stats, change equipment, strength. Uh, strength level of your character, EXP, yada, yada, yada. We know, we played RPGs before. Physical defense, guts, cause, slash evade status effects. Okay. So guts is basically the status elements. Like, it's, it's like luck. Wait, wait, no, 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 wait, wait. Cause or evade status elements. And then status effect resists, reduce likelihood of being affected by each element. That's weird. So guts is for evading things in general, maybe? When you select the character, you can open the equipment menu and change out their gear. I wonder if this game brings out, uh, brings back uh, talents. All right, you can view the synopsis terms and other information. Yeah. Oh, this blind size again. Items create. Oh, they got item creator again. Mini bunnies, total gems. Are there are battle trophies again. It'd be kind of weird if they didn't have battle trophies. Oh, you can actually change how everything works. Okay, dodge L2, R1, R2. L2, okay, so it looks like there's more buttons they need to explain to you. The UI damage, oh, display damage amount. So that's cool. They let you like get rid of some of the UI elements. Performance settings, sound. Is it like mad loud for y'all or no? Ooh, 14 save slots. This actually might just be how the game is paced. Cause they just let me save it. Interesting. We are approaching the Madoom ruins. If we follow the pillars to the west, it should come into view. Can you tell our direction by reading the stars? Nah, <laughs> don't worry, I got this. Hmm. Oh, very well. Shall oh, we then? Oh, you can use the D-pad to switch. Oh, it Leave it to me. to me. Enemies, this way, right? 
Okay, press L1 to dodge. You can roll away and quickly put distance between you and the enemy. You can also choose which direction to dodge in. Since you are invincible and able to avoid attacks at the start, you can dodge to close the gap while slipping past enemy projectiles. Moreover, you can perform feats. Uh, and it does not consume AP. Okay. However, AP recovery stops while evading. Overusing it will slow the pace of your attacks, and you cannot perform skills with insufficient AP. Okay. Nice. Oh, I guess I had hit I mashed circle too much that at the end of the fight I brought up the uh the map. What is this? Yeah, this music's kinda intense for this situation right now. Uh, been a while since I've swung a sword around, but I guess I still get if the active PC becomes incapacitated, you can switch characters to continue fighting or revive that ally. Keep battling by adjusting the situation. Got it. Okay, so I think square takes one AP, triangle takes two, and I think uh, circle takes three. No, circle just takes two still. All right. Forest is full of monsters at night, huh? Guess I'm lucky to have met some people out here, even if they are a little eccentric. Uh, you will perform attacks on the enemy that is marked with a target. Targets are attached automatically to an enemy, but you can also target it. Uh huh. Releasing a target. Hit R3 to release. Okay. Switching targets manually. Press left and right to specify the enemy and in in the area to attack. If you switch targets manually, the target will be locked onto the enemy. Okay, I see. That's pretty dope. Oh, ooh, I got shot in my back, bro. I'm not okay with those back shots. Okay, gain a skill. Go use the SP to strengthen skills or learn new ones. To carry that out, open the menu. Okay. Oh, we got aerial attacks too. All right, so I guess we'll open the menu now. They said I could use the, the, the bullshit, right? Chain combos. All right, you can assign combat skills, active skills and items to active uh, to activate by holding down each button. Oh, you will perform the actions set within chain combos sequentially with each. Oh, this has the stupid art tree. This is one thing I didn't like about uh like Tales of Zestaria or like Grace's F's art tree was okay, and then it's like Brazaria's art tree was kind of like, Ugh, I'm tired of this. I'm tired. But by, by Brazaria came around. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. Build your own original combos while keeping skills, special features, and AP consumed in mind. I mean, this is cool because in Star Ocean, you only really only had like four abilities to use. With this, you get to use more than four abilities. Um, Compared to the previous Star Ocean games. What's the hold button? Boulder Crush. Boulder Crush. Quick Ripper. Effective as a starting attack. Like the Bell Ringer, it is best as a starting attack. So let's make that like the hold button, quick ripper. Circle, I'm gonna make like blueberries. Collection, huh? Side stories, okay. Wait, what was that last one? Hold on. System. Party. So they also have shit too, right? 
Ah, I didn't go to his skill tree. I'm like a dumbass. <laughs> unlock a node, you can boost character stats and learn skills. To unlock a node, you must spend SP. Hmm, however, some nodes have other conditions as well. Alright, attack up. So it takes 25 SP. Well, we have 25 SP, right? No, we have 50, but it takes 50 to unlock that. It takes... Something tells me we don't want to give him... Intelligence. Hold on, what's the intelligent route going? Freeze resistance off? I don't know, bro. Increases all of user's main abilities values proportional to the sum of the abilities your allies and your allies in battle, really. Food feelings. In rare cases, the food effects count will not reduce after battle. Removing this skill mid-battle invalidates it. Interesting. Auto healing. Brazen wave fire. Oh, okay, I see. Intimidate. Oh shit. Decreases attack and intelligence of enemies in wide range straight ahead. Demoralizes enemies. Chance of causing uh, attack or intelligence down. All right, guts. Increases guts of all allies except to use it. Particularly useful against enemies that cause the status ailments. Yeah, I see. Increases, uh-huh. Yeah, there's some, a lot of cool stuff. What's in range that we might be able to potentially get? Auto healing. All right, this this actually seems pretty cool. This the skill tree seems to be dope. Increase the potency of items. Fewer items use mean more full in your pockets. All right, I'm gonna go with the attack though. All right, this one takes 100 SP to get. Skills and enhancement. Expend SP to increase skills, levels, and strength and abilities. You're gonna obtain SP by leveling up from items. Okay. Or leveling up or by using items. I do not have SP right now, right? And then there's more skills. Goddamn. All right. There's a lot to this game, it looks like. All right. There's a lot of stuff. All right. Cool. I appreciate it. That skill tree looks uh, more interesting than most of other games we've been playing. Skill trees. Bit of a gap there, yeah? There is a detour around the edge. Fear not. A fall from this height should not prove fatal. Uh-huh. Sweet! Oh, you know you had to get the money. You gotta get the money. Oh, we got some iron. We have come. Oh, we got a corpse. Oh, I got way more AP now. Is it because I got a surprise attack? Stay down. I think I had uh, one additional AP for just being able to surprise attack somebody. Is there a way to pull back the camera a little bit? There's got to be a way to pull the camera back a little bit. Camera rotation, tracking. I don't. I didn't see anything to like pull it back. Configuration. Game. Um, camera, camera. Yeah, combat camera. Far. Is there like a field camera? All right, I don't think they give you the option yet. All right, let's just beat up on some more dudes. See, my thing is, I wonder if rolling will actually advance your uh, art tree or your attack tree by one, like in uh, Graces. The visibility is poor in such darkness. Pray, mind your footing. I'm good. 
So long as whatever we just saw doesn't show its ugly face. Holds the moon over this area. Rarely should it appear at all. Well, that is coming. Okay. Damn, that worked, dude. How far can you attack from a distance? Because that was kind of nutty. Like, I was able to attack from, like, super far. You two have some killer moves. Pretty used to fighting monsters, too, by the look of you. Is that how it is for everyone that lives here? I just want to take a look at this. Oh, look at that. You can tell them what they're doing. Concentrate efforts on the same target. Freeform. Allows the party to use their best judgment. Attack different targets. Yes. Well, more or less. Uh, whoa. All right, so he just rushed it. You got to be in a certain distance to do the rush, it looks like. We made it to the Medum Ruins. All right, Knight of Kingdom Arcerius, 19 so years. Oh my God, I was trying to read that. It's freaking massive. Can you fall down? Ancient and powerful Arcerius. Oh, you can. Written in the old texts. All right. Okay, didn't get all of that, but I'll save the Q and A for later. For now, let's focus on getting in and getting out. Wow, getting the the surprise attack is kind of messed up. So far, so good. Wait. I definitely think I'm killing these enemies a little bit too quickly, and I would like to increase the difficulty. Field attack. You can you can destroy certain objects. Do mind your footing. Is that a bonfire? Not to stray from the path. About time for a rest. We got a bonfire, bro. We we dark souls out here. All right. So this game has a lot of Western elements. Also, y'all gotta let me know if it sounds like really loud when I'm talking. Turn the music. Gotcha. Yo, it's a periton. Raymond gained a level. Raymond, that's my boy. That's my old roommate right there. Almost fell off the edge there. Sweet. I like the movement. The movement is really so fire right now. Like the fact that I can jump and do stuff. The, the jump do feel kind of stiff. I ain't gonna lie. Do other characters move as fast? Oh wow, you can roll in the air. Why they're called ruins? Doesn't even look like we can get through. How long has it been since this place received visitors? Our traversal here will undoubtedly be treacherous. Good thing I've got you two here to show me the way. Though we are familiar with the area, this is our first time actually being here. Tread carefully. <laughs> I got it though. <laughs> That's funny. I was able to get the item on top of there. Can we can we wall hang? Can we uh, wall? All right, here we go. So I wonder if there's gonna be multiple planets to explore. I feel like this this day and age they have to, because only exploring one planet kind of be, becomes annoying this day and age for like an RPG. After we just played like something crazy that just had us like go through so much. How do we get up top of there, dude? I guess we'll play with this guy and see how we like his combat abilities the next time we get into a fight at least. I wonder if there's anything on the side. Uh, that's gotta be something later on. I'm no expert on the regional history, but folks here don't seem too friendly. Before the kingdom became as we know it now, this was the heart of civilization in the western part of the continent. Why does she sound so different? That much of the culture and knowledge that served as the foundation of our kingdom was created in this very place. So the riffraff left behind by the changing times wind up here. 
left to fend for themselves, huh? Oh God! Cut them to ribbons. Yo, hit him with that. Uh. 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 Yeah, this cheap. Oh yeah. This dude's got the destructo disc. Uh. Look at that. Uh, throw out another one. Throw out another one. Throw out another. One. Oh my God. That. Okay. This dude might be cheap. He might be the the go-to character. This will prove most useful. Guarding ring. All right, so we got some interesting things going on right now. Sacrificial doll. Oh, they got these back. So basically, if you die, uh, you get revived. Ring that boosts his defense. No doubt the aura produced in derelict this is well suited to mucus surge. Okay, plus four. Yeah, that text is kind of small, isn't it? This is too great for us to vault across. It seems we must find a detour around to enter the ruins proper. I wonder if we can do some east bullshit. <laughs> Hold on, bro. I'm trying to see which character has like something that just thrust them forward. Follow my lead. Wait, what if I did that? Leave it to me. Are they taking damage when I do that? Trust this to me. No, they just get worked. Interesting. So it falls to me. Follow my lead. You rang? <laughs> All right, so there's no penalty if they if they fall, right? Trust this to me. <laughs> so if you switch right before you fall, you don't take HP, which is great. Oh wait, was that how you were supposed to do it? Wait, what? I don't think you were supposed to be able to do that. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, the top, the, the, I like how you have the option to change the font though. Alright, we're gonna play with Estelle real quick. No! <laughs> no! Oh man, these guys could cause problems. They could steal your money. I was trying to see if I could blindside. Ooh, that combo though. All right, looks like we miss out on some cha uh, some chest. There's some speed runner routes, man. They 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 got some speed runner stuff in here already. Have we been over here? No, we haven't. Lodestone. Oh, look at this guy. It's a chimera. Destroying target areas. The specific parts of an uh, enemy may have set HP. Destroy their parts by reducing their HP. There are various benefits to destroying a part, such as gaining additional rewards when the battle ends, or disabling powerful skills. Okay. Damaging a pair. Okay. That, this is already sounding kind of cool. This is already kind of like a step up from the previous uh, Star Ocean. Another Ooh, acquire lucky. F so I wonder. Okay, let's see. Cause that's that seems like the dude you want to grind on. So let's test something out. This is a demo. So things may not be the same after this. We're gonna save the game and then we're gonna reload it. Let's see if dude responds. Oh yeah. Dead ahead. Oh my god, he got round tripped. Oh my god, acquire lucky fight coin. Okay, what does that do? Lucky fight coin. He died so quick, dude. Okay, coin that brings. There's something about it that conveys a uh, sense of power. 
chance of causing 70% attack plus for 10 seconds brother open the beastie oh this game has a bestiary oh shit and it tells you what items they drop oh man this is something xenoblade needed damn i ain't gonna count bro this game uh it's not it's not looking too bad so let's do that again this is messed up bro you can just save and reload and then basically get the back attack one more damn that's a lot of exp dude just for fighting that man that chimera this looks like a tablet we can destroy maybe we have company do we though i see them get cocky Yeet. And it comes back and hits too. That's so cool. Cut them to ribbons. Ah! Ooh, well time dodge. Let's go. We got a well time dodge. Xenoblade 3, what? Xenoblade who? No, I'm just playing. I still love Xenoblade. I'm just being a. Uh, uh, an SH, uh, a, a crap head. All right, so we just learned a new combat skill for your boy. Now we can get more attack up. Attack percentage 12%. Like, what the? What's up with the scaling, bro? I feel like I'm leveling up pretty quick. Yeah, this this game feels like it would be really fun to speed run. All right, these two need to have their stuff. Uh, oops, I need to uh, adjust their skill trees. I'm messing up. I'm hitting every other button right now. All right. So this dude, I'm on Leticia. She has 204 SP. Increase the effects of the factor on equip armor. Better factors mean more equipment and skill options. 30% to armor factor. What the fuck is armor factor? Like what? Determined princess increases EXP gained by all allies in exchange for a reduction in your own abilities. All party members gain 130. <laughs> of course. I just got to see how head ass this is. This is a level one skill. So if we go to passive skills, we can probably uh, equip it, right? And I think we might be able to increase it. If we use, yeah. This is nutty. So you can just, wow. Okay, so I definitely need to put this as soon as I play this game when I buy it because I'm already sold on the game at this point I'm a hundred percent focusing on this and just farming the hell out of this game. This is a speed run of, Everything I'm doing right here. I feel like this game is gonna be the perfect speed run game for me. I Like this game already I like this game. I like it. It feels good. It's, a, it's an RPG, bro. But uh, Leticia, I'm well aware. she's here to give us that EXP. Yo, Raymond, what the hell, bro? Why are you hurt? No AP. They say you can't endlessly attack no more, bro. Detecting. Escape pod signal above current position. I feel like once we get to this escape pod, it's gonna be the end of the demo, bro. Probably just busted. That's what I'm gonna tell myself. It's probably just busted. Yeah, this this game has some pretty exciting things about it that I'm looking at. 
we don't know anything about the like the equipment factors that they were talking about armor factor i wish i guess there are like additional passives on like the weapons and whatnot the characters all have passive abilities and like weapon like i wouldn't say weapons but there's like so many different types of skills that each character can equip and then armors and weapons are probably gonna have like different passives and shit and if they have the level of customization like the past star ocean did for like weapons and whatnot it's gonna be nutty that there be something on that sure you repa you do look like Ken Masters, bro. You don't look like a Raymond Lawrence, bro. You look like a Ken Masters. Tony, where's Raymond Lawrence? Like, bro, what kind of? Finally made it to the ruins. Now let's head inside. There is no time to lose. Wait, there was some stuff on the left side. I want to get. Come on, man. <laughs> running, running, run, running, running. Please, please, please be okay. You gotta be kidding me. They're not there. What is it? Is that fuel? Elena. Why? Oh, that was supposed to be Elena's place. She sent like a care package instead of herself. Why'd I have to play the hero? Why couldn't I just get in a damn escape pod? My dude. <laughs> Some captain I am. Uh, Ray! Earthquake. What's in the pod? A helmet? Duma production model 004213 activated. Duma. Confirmed. Life forms in need of protection. Whoa, hey, what the heck's this supposed to be? Warning. Warning. Hostile entities identified. Engaging defensive mode. Bro, Are you god damn. I believe so, but what, what yeah, is this? Later. Right now we, we've got company. The Duma. Down this right. The Duma base combat. Yo, Duma. During battles with Duma, press R1 to perform special actions with Duma's help. When activated, this will consume the VA gauge. The VA, the voice actor gauge? Holding down R1 will raise a barrier around the surrounding area. This will neutralize all damage received from enemies. Okay. What? Any close range attacks will be repelled, causing the enemy to flinch. Okay. This action lets you make a high speed rush attack. When you pass R1. Okay. When you press R1, your character begins to float while the barrier is up. Release that button to make your charge. Okay. Goddamn. Changing direction <laughs> for using the uh -huh. this will allow you to avoid any attacks. The blind side is when you change directions during a VA rush and the enemy loses sight of you. The enemy will be immobilized and suffer extra damage. All right, that's gonna take some use to blind siding and VA blind side that incapacitate the enemy lasts for an amount of time based on the VA's gauge level. Oh my god, you will consume the VA gauge fully after changing direction during a VA attack. You will consume the gauge fully or only use 50% if you perform a blind side. The VA determines the length of the blind side. Oh my god. Hitting enemies with attacks increases the VA gauge. Uh-huh. Use a blind side to damage the enemy heavily. Perform skills to increase the gauge again and repeat. Blind side occurs if you suddenly disappear from the enemy's side. To perform a blind side reliably, make a VA rush at the enemy looking straight ahead and change direction right before contact. Ooh, it's basically break their ankles. You can blindside a large number together by changing directions during a VA attack, incapacitating to defeat the enemy. Uh huh, cool. Let's heal first. Ooh, 
let's go. Threat neutralized. Destroy. Destroy. Here I come. Ooh. Ooh, let's go. What's good? Blind side. Ooh. This is the power of my jujitsu. The power of blind side. <laughs> Oh shit, I'm getting my ass beat. Hold up. Leticia was uh dead. Yo, get up, Leticia. That's a hood girl name right there. Leticia. Leticia, Lakeisha. Decided to bring out the big guns, huh? They got the golems back. Golems in HD. Hey, sharp. hey the music is fire though. Some enemies have multiple areas you can target. Yup, depending on that area that you attack, you might deal much more damage than striking a body. You might take, you might make the enemy flinch with a few hits. All right. Let's go for them legs. Hmm. Hey, my dude, you got to heal, bro. Ooh. Oh. You better watch out. All right, let's back up for a second. Oh, got that Genshin. Got that Genshin Golem attack, bro. All right, so let's rise up. Okay, why does boss? Oh, okay, this is actually the boss. Clearly. Wait, can I assist her? Like, or do I have to? I have to probably use an item. All right, so let's do this, right? Provide some incapacitation. Oh, this dude. I didn't even get to throw the item because of that. All right, use items. It takes a while for you to use items like that. Okay. All right, let's go. Actually, I don't think I ever got to equip that new ability. Yo, Albert, get your ass up. All right. Here, wow, that did a lot. Oh my god. Okay, you just attacked the head. The hell is this? I thought it was yours. So something tells me like in my care than there might be a battle trophy mind. system in the hey, main uh, game, and Duma, attacking the legs to defeat so, it probably uh, is a battle trophy rather than attacking the weak point. That's something they would do. So now you decide to give us the silent treatment. Why, it is just marvelous. Tell me, is this some new form of semiomancy? There's that word again. What, is it like your version of symbology or something? Symbology? Symbology. Uh, never mind. Uh, anyway, thanks you two. I really appreciate it. Oh, and while I'm at it, here. And what will you do once we part? Well, try and figure out where my friends are, for one. Uh, these lands are vast. What will you do for lodging, for food, for survival? What if your companions are across the sea? Would you swim? <laughs> to that end, Ray, I have a proposition for you. Assist us in our journey, and we shall assist you in yours. Are you sure that's smart? Only thing you know about me is my name. And we ought rectify that at once, for learning more about the other is sure to benefit us both. Highness? Albert, 
Should Raymond agree, he will be in our care. Whatever comes of this, I shall bear the consequences. Allow me to properly introduce myself. I am Leticia Asarius, Crown Princess of Asarius. Leticia Leticia Asarius. Baird Bergholm, my royal retainer. Oh, shoot. he is what you would call I my he was nigga. When he called you <laughs> oh, you think us liars? Uh, put yourself in my shoes. Doubt you'd be saying anything differently. <laughs> Indeed. Not over far from these ruins is the village of Larset. <laughs> There, we shall find a quiet moment to talk. All right. They about to end the demo on me, aren't they? I, uh, might have to hold on to this for a while. Please do. Consider it a symbol of the trust we have placed in you. I have the laser blades back in this game, because that's the first thing I'm synthesizing. Oh, nice! The demo continues. Dun, dun, da, 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 dun, dun, dun. Think of this as something new, something extra. This Larset place, anywhere near here? We should be able to reach it by evening if we leave immediately. Ah, uh, you do realize we're running on no sleep, don't you? If I may, I think I know how to make the trip a deal safer. We employ Duma. Its powers of levitation should let us skirt any dangers. Oh, that true? Oh, we forget they are a bashful sort. How inconsiderate of us. Uh, Bruh. Searches using VA. You can use VA even out of battles. If you spot an item up high, try flying to it. The cursor will change colors if there's an area where flying could cause collision. If a collision point is close, to a climbable location you can automatically ascend following the collision all right cool free va hold down while holding down r1 move the camera and release r1 to release uh to rush in the area or in an area press x to glide and descend slow oh nice so that area we saw earlier is right there okay while gliding you use uh, the left and along to move and press x to stop gliding Like right here, that's something we can use that with. Use scan to display the direction of nearby treasures and interactable object on the radar. Okay. Okay. Target sighted. Wait, is it chest behind here? Oh, cool. So we can pretty much just use this. Hey, this is fire, brother. Sweet. Roly poly beans. I got a roly poly bean. All right, this game is kind of fire right now. It got the whole exploration, got flying, bro. Yo, that's fire. Why wouldn't I just use this to get around? Oh my god, this is fire, bro. I can just keep doing that, no punishment? Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yo, this is great. The oh, yeah. The are different on the return trip. Are you certain we are going in the correct direction? There is no need for concern. This is the way, I assure you. With nothing but dilapidated ruins as landmarks, even the most seasoned adventurers might get lost. Can't get up there from there. Oh, this is fire! Oh, what the? What the? I slipped. Ahead. Thieving scumbags. You know what we do to thieving scumbags, right? Xenoblade 3 could have benefited from some sort of movement option, yes. Exactly. Yeah, my biggest complaint? Why can't I use a, a, a Lebness? <laughs> All right, small white dot enemies have not noticed the active character. Yellow circle enemies have not noticed the active character. All right. Oh my God. Why is, why is my AP so stupid right now? There's also a move we did in the set. Accelerating is sufficient. Eliminate. So other characters get to use it. 
It falls to me. Yep. That's fire. Duma canceling. Yeah, you can't switch characters while performing Duma. We must pass through this building, no? Indeed. The interior may be complicated, so take care not to lose your way. The exit is on the southern side of the ruins. Huh. I bet Duma could probably just zip around a building like this. Fire. 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 Duma pits. Oh, Duma points. You need DP to learn and strengthen Duma skills to carry that out. Open a menu and go to Duma. Gems have been unsolved mysteries. They may appear in places where they were supposedly never found before. All right, cool. So exquisite. God damn. I bet you can go even further and further, but the thing is, it's like... If I could have skipped that encounter, that'd be great. So exquisite. So is there fast traveling, I wonder? So let's take a look at the uh, the map. All right, the map is looking kind of uh, all right. Oh shit! You can't do Doom in the air. Trust <laughs> <in me. laughs> Once I remembered that, I was like, wait, hold on, this out. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> well, that's well, that's what happens. Oh my god, I'm playing with a character that's finna die. Threat you see that? Alright, let's get back to just going to the next area. Uh, yo, I love it. Got the Doomless. Yo, that was an extra jump. He did like a vault jump. What the? You can do it in the air? Word? Huh. I didn't know you could do it in the air. Oh, shit. So you can only do it once. But I bet you there's a skill that lets you do it multiple times. Oh, my God. Emergency protocols. Yo, that's what a lot of games need nowadays. It's like some really cool, like, movement mechanic. Like, Spider-Man games are really fun. No matter how many times you play a Spider-Man game, it's fun because of the movement. Max AP increase. AP can increase or decrease from a range of 5 to 10. The max AP used for attacks increase whenever you execute a blind side attack. Okay. Alright, I'll tell you what, I don't know who we're fighting. I thought that person was on top of the roof. Well, that's over with. Okay, so I wonder if you can do that and then do Duma. Yeah, you can. Now that's fire. Oh god. <laughs> 15 points. Oh yeah, this... Okay, I'm liking this. Threat detected ahead. Oh, that was cheap. Oh, yeah, this game is kind of fire. So, what we're gonna do, menu Duma. Okay, synchro skills have been added to the strength and skills section of the party screen. VA attack. Uh huh, cool. The one we got, Outrage. The five hit slash and kick combo cannot be interrupted by attacks dodge to end the combo early so i'm, I'm gonna probably put that as a triangle move outrage <laughs> oh wait 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 we need let's go look at like the dumas the dumas skill tree right or 
All right. Set Duma skills to activate them. Okay, so that's how you stab them. Okay, reduces enemy's footsteps, expands the area of effect. Okay. Uh, 39 DP silencer reduces enemies footsteps detection range expands the area so I need 50 I only have 39 okay oh boy we are nearing the exit of the ruins all right cool let's get out of here having too much fun with the doomus the dumbass the dumbass mechanic that's what I call it the Duma. Poison character suffers a lot of damage each time they use a skill. Never take this element lightly. So poison is the problem. Full screen map. Can't use it during battles or cutscenes. Found through this forest in order to reach Larset Village, must we not? Yes. If we continue southeast from here, we should be near the place where we first met. Ah, uh, that's so. Well, if it's on the way, mind if we stop by my pod for a sec? Of course. Let us be off then. Gotcha! Mmm, mmm, mmm. Okay, one, two. What the hell did you get up there, dude? Threat eliminated. We got a chest right here, old oh, baby. Wait. Wait, can you break these things? I never tried to break them before. I don't know what that means. Prep for engagement. Dude, the fact that you can do that in the air is so sick. Like, oh my god. Oh, I don't think I can go that way. The fact that you can use it downwards and not just upwards is like kind of cool. Sweet! Is that a chest over there I just never got? Oh god. Y'all saw that right. I was like stuck. Almost got soft locked. Damn. No, I didn't want to leave combat. Oh, they have the same amount of HP if you leave the combat area. Hmm. That seems kind of cheesy. You probably recover over a certain amount of time, but still. Wait, wasn't there a chest over here? Where'd it go? Okay, let me just go in the sky and look for it. I s Wait, did we already get it? I don't remember opening it. Enemies up ahead. Okay. Well One of my people must have opened it. Honeybee. No, 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 no. Don't, don't do it. I just wanted to skip the fight. I feel like you can probably use that to get through like areas. If you can just whip that in the air, like. While well, in the combat, you can probably cheese. Village. Time offers us no respite. I know. I'll be quick about it. Destroy. 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 
Oh, chain battle. Well, the more you chain, the more full and EXP you get. Huh, it uh, should be just a little ways more to the east. Fire. Let me call my brother real quick before we head out. Gotta call Big Bro. <laughs> Antonio, do you read me? Performance is pretty good so hey, far on the PS5. Was anyone in the pod? Nope, just freight. It was one of the pods Elena ejected right before the Edis went down. Wait, she did the ejecting? Then... But I don't want to hear it, okay? As the ship's captain, I have to assume everyone on the crew's safe until accounted for, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for now, I'm going to look for Chloe. And I'm going to do it with the two from yesterday. Think you can trust them? Does it matter? I need them. But even if I didn't, they're reasonable people. Plus, they saved my life. That's enough for me. All right. I'm gonna try to get to you as fast as I can. Tell Dad not to lose any hair over it, will you? Too late. Bruh. He already has over the fact that you called me for help and not him. <laughs> <laughs> Parents, man. <laughs> Uh, hey, Ray, before you go, let me talk with your two traveling companions. I didn't like the way he said that. Antonio sounds like a jackass. Hey, sounds uh, like a low-key racist. Uh, my bro says he wants to talk with you guys. Uh, uh, hello? Uh, yes? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh. Yesterday, I was pretty upset and said some pretty rude things to you. Apologies for not doing this face to face. I'd like to make a fresh start. My name is Antonio Lawrence, Raymond's older brother. Uh, Sir Antonio, my name is Leticia Asarius. And with me is. Uh, um, Albert Bergholm, sir. Miss Osarius, Mr. Bergholm. I'm sure Raymond here comes off as a strange and weird man. But please, look after my little brother for me. The Lord's family comes from a long line of well-known merchants. Merchants, huh? We always pay our debts. I feel like that's a reference to a character from a game I didn't Nothing play all the fear, way through. Sir. We shall do our utmost to ensure the safety of your brother. I appreciate it. Ray, try not to be too much of an annoyance to your new friends. Good luck. Over and out. I'm mad I sold my first two games. You are loved. I wish, but nah, you just can't help treating me like a kid. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I can't wait to sleep in a bed. Let's get going. Okay. What is a bed? Let us depart. We sleep here out on these streets. Come on, let's make our way to that village. Right. Uh, Larset Village is to the south. We're gonna go this way. Hold on, what's this way though? Is there is there like a? Is that, oh, maybe we can get up there. Tell me nothing up here, huh? Tell me I wasted my goddamn time. Hmm? Is that what you're telling me, boy? What the heck? I guess that was just for aesthetic. Can you like kind of float? Yeah, I think you can. So I can like do this. All right. So you can kind of float down. So hold it. Yeah. So this is how you just move. I love it. Look at that. We zipping, bro. Oh my god. Thank you for not like re like preventing us from using it at any time. See that? I didn't have to do nine thousand side quests to unlock a fifteen percent movement increase. Nice.
Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be needing to use this. We're gonna be like, hey man, but you you play two hundred dollars, goddamn man. Why are you why are you roasting it? The biggest problem I had with Xenoblade Three was literally only the movement. It took forever to get to places sometimes. Sweet. And it only went up to twenty eight percent. Yikes. I wonder if you can break your legs here. Oh, shout out to the Duma. Enemies up ahead. The Duma system is OD. I really need to get their skills like up to snuff because right now they are kind of getting stuffed. I should probably heal them, right? So let us go into the menu. I know everybody's like, man, why you keep playing with this dude, man? You know what? You're right. You're absolutely right. So she's got this powered up, right? The only thing, since this is a demo and I don't really care, bro, she is straight up just gonna be the person who gets this ability just maxed out, bro. So <laughs> I'm having strength in this, right? Oh, the synchro skill. What the hell? What's that about? Synchro skills? How did I get there? Okay, high speed rush strengthened by Duma. Her hitbox extends. T They're using terms like hitbox. Her hitbox extends to the tip of her blade during the rush. Really? Hmm. Oh, okay. So. Ibar, Albar, high speed rush strengthened by Duma. Mobility is most much higher than other characters. Can be canceled by using skills. All right, strikes target with an unyielding blade. Slamming it, the enemies will not stop them. Okay. So Raymond has 56, but the other two should have some other. She has 71. Low key, I'm just gonna power this up if I can. Fifty-seven. Yeah, fuck it. Still far from proficient. I don't care, bro. It sounds silly, but hey. Let's see what this dude can get. All right, Shadow Remnants generates orbiting chakram. They also fire up the four projectiles while triggering a semiomancy. Oh my god. Rainy day fun. Slightly increases the amount of full earned in battle. Okay. He's got that intelligence over here. Let's go up. Purging. Reduces user's defense, but increases movement speed. Skill that increases that increased movement speed are quite rare. I also agree with that. Um I'm gonna try to get that skill, bro. Oh, I think we got our uh speed runner. And that's an active skill he can always get right so that's something i have to go to his chains yeah i have to go here to do that's cool that you can activate certain skills at any time rather than them always being active that's kind of sick you can activate buffs essentially all right you control when the buffs happen. All right, HP recovers during combat at regular intervals. I think that's something I'm gonna give to him. Flying Gilling Team, yeah. So follow my lead. This will prove most useful. What was that? I 
guess there's something up there. Or no, nah, I guess not. What the how did I miss all this? I should probably increase the uh the Duma, the Duma ability for scanning. like a cave or something um this could be optional or it could just be like something we got to do later in the story so i wonder if that'll is if that's just blocked off for the demo and they don't want you doing that yet or they just kind of prevent you from doing that right now oh my god he just casually recovered 100 health no raymond must have used an item on me let us shift the Alright, status elements, okay. Time does not pass when that character is executing skills. I will not fall. Not with my promise left unfulfilled. I can't see squatting here with all these trees. Hey, are we going the right way? We are. Stay on this course. The forest is too much danger. Bro, 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 I got it. Destroy. Okay, let's activate this again. The thing about a activating these skills is, man, damn, you're hella vulnerable. Bruh. Bruh, how did you die? <laughs> I didn't even see it. I got killed by a brog. That was a brog, bro. Why are brogs in this game? Oh no, I gotta watch all this stuff again? Bro, oh hell, I had to have saved it. I had to have saved it later. Southbound through this oh no, you get fucked. Yes. Oh no. Okay, we're just gonna beat the demo at this point. We should be near the place where we first met. That's oh, they it. said difficulty spike. Well, yeah, we way, got those. We stop by my pod for a sec. Then again, like my dude was Let like off, low key. Steady, everyone. <laughs> kind of don't want to fight. Energy I'm out of there. Pass through the forest to reach Lost Village. Time offers us no respite. I know. I'll be quick about it. We have come. Get the jump on him. <laughs> Huh, it uh, should be just a little ways more to the east. Bro, were they just. Oh my god. Dude, they got stuck. That's crazy. Insufficient output. You are now safe. They got stuck, so I had. Oh my god. Okay, there's no way that was the last time I saved, right? Oh my god. All right, luckily we can just skip all that. We ain't got to worry about Let seeing all this again. Real quick before we head out. Oh, oh my God. Antonio. Oh my God. Okay. Ray, loud and clear. I was like, yo, it's 2022. And y'all ain't got to skip cutscene. Let's make our way to that village. Right. All right, we gonna, we gonna get back there. That village is to the south. This will prove most useful. Yo, look how fast we were moving, bro. We are already back to where we were. Oh, that was some interesting tech. I just did like a quick fast fall. Like, I don't know what the hell that this was. Will prove most useful. I just jump off the building to be each. That's what I should have just did. 
Where that broad, man? Fuck that. Nah, man. Run that shit back, bro. I can't see squatting here with all these trees. Run that shit back. Okay. Are we going the right way? Get your toes. Run it back, bro. Yeah, fuck you. Well, that's over with. Yeah, you ain't shit without your, without us being low health. Continue on our southward course. This movement is actually the most impressive part of this. Excellent. The most surprising, impressive part of this game is actually the movement. I really like how it feels. A Larkaris? That's what is that what it's called? Larkaris? Oh, okay. We got it. We are now entering the Larkus region. Frame drops. Come. Let us continue to the south. Right, let's go. Much easier without all the trees, too. This is the ideal terrain for walking. Well, this dude just got his ass whooped. What the hell? Perimeter secure. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Leave it to Beaver. Bruh, this really is just how I, I think going forward in the future, this might be a standard, bro. You know what I'm saying? Moving around like this in an RPG don't make sense. It's unheard of. Yo, this dude did bullet seed. Nah, bruh, go back to Pokemon with all that. Cut them to the Everyone all right? Yeah, my man Raymond got another level up. Sweet. Target sighted. Target sighted. I guess it shows you the general location on here where you should be going, yeah. So it's like a compass, really. A blueberry potion. The village of Larset lies to our west. West, indeed. Yeah, that's clearly somewhere else. Keep my feet up. Oh, and take a hot bath. <sighs> I second the ladder. Come, let us be about it. Let's be about it. Oh, okay, he bought that life, huh? You gotta stand still for the scanner, unfortunately. I wish that was something you could do while moving. Sweet! Bruh, bruh, get that out of my face. Our set village is not far now. Is that a corpse? Alright, what? It says somewhere. No, that's a tree. I thought it was a corpse. Right, I'm gonna get these items that's so randomly on the ground. Scruffy rag. All right, let's just go over here and uh, continue the game. Continue the demo. So at this point, this low key might just be the game, but I do feel like there were certain scenes just kept out of the demo to prevent pacing issues, I guess. Yeah, but I'm liking the speed, just being able to, just being able to go to new heights and explore stuff. Yeah, it's pretty fun. This is also on the PS5 and it's dropping whenever I like move. I'm like, uh oh, issues. Whew. Made it at last. Don't you think we should hide that thing? Kind of makes us stand out. 
I'm doing my... <gasps> it's the bunny! As it closely resembles a semiomancer's orb, such as the one over there. Oh, that's interesting. Semiomancy orb. A uh, semiomancer's orb, huh? You can All move right. the bunny. Besides, I would like to prioritize our lodgings. A nice rest will do us all some good. <laughs> you can move the bunny, dude. The bunny's like, hey man, don't move me like that, bro. You know, I don't know you. You don't know me. Wait. You know how to break these pots? You know I play Ocarina of Time when I see pots, bro. See pots, you gotta break them. That's just a, a habit you just develop playing Zelda games in general. I think there's a chest or something over here. Or is that on top of the house? Mommy, that man's flying. Holy shit. Oh, it's a cat. I can pet the cat. Yo, we got a cat. It's a stray cat from Stray. <laughs> Bruh. Who is that crazy man hopping from every roof? Roof to roof. What kind of construction working is he, man? I ain't never seen no get up like that. Oh my god. This does just feel amazing. You ever play Nights in the Dreams and you just be trying to fly? Yeah, this, this is like really nice. What the heck? It's like a goat horse. What the heck is that? Yo, I can't go into these backwoods, bro. Probably some more pots for us to break up. We have arrived. Let me in this goddamn house. Hey, let me in. Let me in. Let me get a bath. Oh, you looking for a match? Fine then. I'll teach you everything you need to know. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! What you talking about? You do not have an Ez of Sola deck? What the hell? What you mean? Oh, is that a card game? What the? Did, did, did they just tease a car game? Uh, are you travelers? They said I didn't have a, a Drytron deck or something, right? In addition to fully recovering HP at the end, you can get very benefit from eating food. Oh. 150% less likely to flinch when attacked. Earth resistance, 15% damage to plants. That's probably something we want to do. Speak up, I can barely hear you over the music. <laughs> That's the kind of meal that makes you glad to be alive. All right, so where do you want to begin? First, would you mind telling us whence you hail? Earth. If you thought I said some weird stuff before, brace yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from another world. One that's far, far away in the sky. Another world, you say? Far away in the sky? It sounds kind of cow. You know, like how you can cross a mountain to get to another village, or the ocean to get to another continent. That, uh, that looks good. If you good. fly high enough, you can cross the sky and reach other worlds. Like the stars? Uh, which star do you call home? Whoa, no. One, it's a planet, not a star. <laughs> Two, you can't see it from here. I've never heard something Is that so George Grant? Mine. Well, that's because people on planets like yours don't usually learn this for a couple hundred more years. Anyway, my job is to transport cargo between planets. And we now know Duma was my cargo. My vessel, the Yetus, was attacked by another planet's battleship. And I was forced to flee here. Right now, I'm looking for a crew member, Chloe. Gotta be traipsing about here somewhere. Oddly lackadaisical way of describing being lost in an unknown land. She's got a good head on her shoulders. And she's great with languages. 
Roughing it a little won't bother her. And now, I'd like you to answer something for me. No thanks. What's a princess doing sneaking around outside her castle? With only one bodyguard in tow. Because I too am looking for someone. Per my intelligence, at one point, he was seen entering the Madoom ruins. Therefore, I have a proposition. In return for helping in your search for Chloe, I would like you to assist us in ours. Sure, but uh, I don't know how much help I'll be. I'm not even from here. The person we seek is hardly congenial, but he is inquisitive. Your presence will be more persuasive than any argument we can make. Sounds like I got my work cut out for me. Yes, sir. Perhaps some further information would help. His name is Midas Felgreed. He was a former Meister, one of the three most accomplished semiomancers in all of Asarius. Let me guess, he did something big and bad and destroyed like a whole town. Private action, taking or talking to an ally somewhere in the town or city may result in the private action. So PAs, this is just a thing that's been in Star Ocean since the beginning of time. Private actions affect which ending you end up getting. And usually in Star Ocean games, there's like a bunch of endings or well, character character endings, I guess you could say that you can get depend, depending on if their affinity is high enough. Your relationship with your allies will change depending on how private actions go. Choose wisely and deepen your friendships. I don't really want to run around looking for a semiomancer. At the same time, I don't know anything about this planet, so I'm not going to find Chloe on my own. What do you think? Yeah, finally get to a bed and I can't even sleep. Maybe a walk will tire me out. Play a game of uh, cards. You looking for a match? I'm looking, I'm looking for a deck of cards to play this game so I can get matched up. You looking for a match on Tinder? <laughs> Good luck with that. Pay $99 to get these boosts to be seen by people who probably don't like you. Hey. Can't sleep either, huh? I am simply thinking. Do not try to curry favor with me. Hey, buddy, we're traveling companions. Stop button heads with me. Silence your tongue. <sighs> mm-hmm. It's late, so silence your tongue a bit. <laughs> okay? Bruh. You blow your cover now. Her Highness attracts much attention, including those of your ilk. Outwards, it may be best for royalty to be cordial with commoners, but such friendliness makes her vulnerable. You know you're not gonna change her by being the uptight one, right? <laughs> the issue lies in the fact that no one other than me cares to remonstrate her. Listen, you've been through a lot, all right? You gotta get some rest. Her Highness... You need some big words, buddy. Sleep. Remonstrate ain't gonna help nobody. I must be prepared to aid her should anything unfortunate happen. I see. You're very diligent. It is my sworn duty as a king's guard. Now go sleep instead of loitering about like some laggard. You bother me. Boy, yeah, that's real nice. Only a laggard? Damn, man. You don't have to be so ruthless. <laughs> All right, so it looks like in this game, they let you get multiple party members because sometimes you'll be running out of time before you can like talk to every party member and get their affection member or affection levels up. You got to pick and choose. Do you want to face off? Don't blame me if I wipe the floor with you. Bro, I need a deck, bro. Yo, some donation, donation go help afford me a deck to, you know, body these NPCs she going fishing or coming back from fishing one of the two is that what the lady is all right cool I could have completely skipped that talk with him midnight promise is something wrong trouble sleeping yeah yeah a little I've been taking walks till I get tired my apologies. I should not be burdening you with our troubles. Hey, I'm the one who said we should join up. I would have never been able to take care of food and lodging by myself. So don't be shy. Let me help you too. <laughs> well, if you insist on it then. 
At a girl. We don't need more than one negative Nelly around, and Albert's got us covered there. I am the reason he remains so troubled. Please try not to think ill of him. She sounds so different at times. Like I guess he's uh, been through a lot, right? All those worries had turned anyone's smile upside down. Do you feel no need to inquire to fill in said details? Where we are is within the kingdom. And Albert's always wary of the Empire. The princess of said kingdom is sneaking around looking for a banished wise man. I can imagine said details. There's bound to be bumps in the road ahead. Let's at least enjoy the quiet while we can, princess. Might I then ask something of you? Sure, name it. Could you refrain from calling me by my royal title and use only my name? <laughs> Just plain Jack. I gotta think that's gonna make Albert a little mad. Yes, well, we are undercover, and this would make things enjoyable for me. Do you agree, Ray? Yep, gotcha. Excellent. Now, with that off my chest, I do believe I shall return and rest. You would do well to do the same. The delivery is definitely like, you got uh, do I use this voice or do I use see. this voice? Yes. Do I use this tone? Have a good night, Ray. Alrighty, let's head back to the inn. Oh, and hey, do you think I could keep using this weapon? Of course. Consider it yours. There is also a merchant within the village. Shall we take a look tomorrow? A merchant? You mean me? Good. Gotta be ready for anything around here. All right, I think I'm finally getting tired. That was so weird. We'll head back. Guess I will head back using my flying capabilities. Who's this person? This one is yellow. Chichim! Where have you got to? Hey, have you seen Chichim anywhere? That's the name of my pet kitty. Oh, I think I found him. I got this. Find my kitty, Chicham. He's the cutest cat in town, so he should be easy to spot. Please, please, please help me. Uh, should probably stop wandering and get back to the end. Hey, you should probably shut up and let me do this side quest. <laughs> sir, 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 don't get soft locked now. Alright, where is that cat? Who's on one of these buildings? I know that. I think it's right over here. Bruh. That cat just disappeared. <laughs> oh my god. That cat just said meow. Just completely disappeared. No fading effect whatsoever. No, no fade to black. Just fucking is in my pocket where were you huh? there's something attached to his collar a piece of paper first quest over running deliveries any day okay quest cleared looks like there's something written on it i don't know what it is but here you can have it as thanks no 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 so i want money for thanks jam. Cham is he named after uh, a Pokemon? Thank you. Well, she gave me the cat's little message. So, side quests appear on the map as yellow dots. That's one thing to keep a lookout for. Surrounded on all corners by blue sea, nothing else can be made out. Cryptic message. Cha-cham, chip-cham, ma-cham. Anyone home? Knock, knock, open up. It's been a while since I got a good night's rest. Ugh. I like how all the money is literally universally the same everywhere. Foal is accepted on any planet I love it. Morning. 
Before we head out, I just wanted to thank you again. So, thanks, Letitia, Albert. Good morning to you too, Ray. So, uh... Good morning to you too, exactly Ray. We? I kind of forgot. The mining town of Delric, which lies far to the south. Once we reach it, we can take stock of our situation. Oh, right, right, sorry. This is the first time I've had a good night's sleep in a while. I'm still not quite with it yet. Then you'll have yourself to blame if you are attacked. <laughs> All right, hold on. There's a merchant over here, right? Bruh, bruh. Whoa. Yeah, let's stock up on these uh, fresh sages. Gotta get the blueberries too. I'm gonna buy eight of them. I didn't even buy them. I'm buy four of them. Is this better than I have? Nope. This is like a charm that you can get. <laughs> Stop by again anytime. Thanks. Uh, is there another shop in this village? Hold on, because there's some more. There's some more stuff we can print. Uh, hmm. Probably have access to like another side quest or something. Um, map is R2, which is weird to me. There's a chest all the way in the end. Sorry, sir. Shouldn't have been standing there, sir. Sweet. Opera. All right. See what that accessory does for us. All right, 60% damage dealt to weak spots. Oh, bet. Now we got 109 SP, right? It's high speed one handed lunge can be performed to cancel your damage animation. Is that a stinger, bro? That's a dead ass stinger, bruh. This dude's attack is looking kind of impressive. I wonder if there's going to be like costumes and stuff later. Battle trophies. I wonder if it'll be a slick way to reset stuff. I'm I'm actually ready to start looking for some other stuff. Look at his topmost skill lion. Um sure, I'll take a look at it in a second. Let us be on our way. Bro, she don't sound she sounds completely different. Like she came into a new recording it's session sounding different. From here. It is. The Delvia region ahead is vast. I would wager even a seasoned traveler would consider it quite a distance. Great. You're not by chance hiding another mode of transportation, are you? We have Duma with us, do we not? Now then. Come, we make for the region of Delvir. You're southbound from our current position, I believe. Roger that. Oh, very excited. Man, this dude's a resident sleeper. You seem to be getting used to using a sword, Ray. At first, your movements were rather unrefined, to say the least. Enemies who cannot be blindsided. Certain powerful enemies have a wide field of vision. Flying... Uh, oh, a game mechanic, though. A game mechanic we gave you earlier stops working. I can't really tell if I am a or not. You may merely continue practicing. I shall be relying on your skill. Well, I shall do what I can. Like the hot knife through butter. Ooh, nice headbutt. Yeah. 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 All right, so let me get that. Let's look at uh, scan some stuff. Very well, I shall tell you. Continue your current southern course. Okay, kind of spooky. 
how did you know I was going to ask you for directions? I merely read the look of confusion written upon your face. Destroy. What the heck? Now sit down, buddy. Cut them to the Oh my god, you're going the wrong way, buddy. Okay. Blindside. Alright. Damn, this is a wide ass open area, bro. When I say wide ass open area, I mean like, geez. It's like nothing here, but just like forced. Not to be a pain, but are we almost to the Delvere region? Sweet! 15 foal. I love foal. Now look at this comment. We're gonna bust them up. I found the chest, by the way. Nice. Okay, I see. Damn, hit the head. Yo, the head butts. He said, "Crown, crown, crown." He just gave me the crown. The cram and cranium. Destroy. The cranium cram. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and. Because I don't trust myself at this point to not like get random doubt. We're gonna say. Say, cram, cram. <laughs> the cranium cram, dude. Oh my god. All right, we out of there. I didn't even fully explore that area, I know, but I just wanted to move forward. Music is pretty good. Damn, this demo is pretty impressively long. I thought it was only going to be like an hour or something. All right. Here we go. Copy that. Here we go. Here we, here we go. Oh, here we go again. Here we go again. I love flying with a jetpack. Oops, not a jetpack. It's a Duma. I love how I don't break my legs. Not like this. He he he! My knees. In the Delvier territory. Ooh, that took quite some time. Sure did. Let's keep on keeping on, I guess. Delvier Terrors lies to the southwest. First, let's continue farther. What the hell? Look at this pyromancer. He casted something up. See that? Yeah, dog. Yeah. Yeah. Come up out of that. Yeah, come get folded. That's how you do laundry right there, by the way. Uh, 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 Y'all see that? Take your ass back to Genshin, my dude. Your Highness, pray, mind your footing. Oh, hush, this is nothing. You worry far too much. It is because mm. of predisposition towards recklessness the moment I... Mm, you better die. I must be vigilant. Do not treat me like a child, Albert. And with the axe beaks, you can get your ass beat. <laughs> Yo, we got the axe beaks, bro. The axe beaks, ready to get... So dish out some ash beatings, bro. Nice. 226 EXP. We the aggravates. You can get your ass beat. 
Try to hit me with the okay, yeah, hit me with the fart. You would do well not to become a hindrance. Yeah, yeah, I know. Accelerate. Ooh, that should kill the wind. See that? I cannot die. Yeah. Yeah, put that barrier back on. Yeah, too late, huh? Get rushed down. Wait, somebody's still alive? I couldn't even see him, bro. I thought he was just trash on the ground already. Company, you can receive blessings for offering Ermi lilies found somewhere on the map. After offering, visit once in a while. A visit once food benefits have worn off to gain a random effect. Okay. How the f how the where did I get the lilies from? If you have Hermie, you oh come on, bro. How am I supposed to have any of that? All right, here we go. Impression this may be the wrong way. I get the impression that you want me to go the right way. Ah, uh, this place is freaking huge. Of course I'm gonna get lost. <sighs> South it is then. I guess I'll play with him. Wow, I didn't even realize that, bro. There's a chess I missed too. God damn. It might be 255, because I think level cap was like 200 something in uh, previous Star Ocean games. a chest up there oh wait you can do that so I can actually swing a weapon right after that happens swinging yeah what's good baby welcome back bro We've been playing the hell out of this game and we found out the movement in this game is just one of the best oh, things ever. Hey. Is that Delrick Village over there? Spider-Man can't even do this. Ha, I'm kidding. I mean, technically he could, but he needs to be around buildings. All right. If you press and release hard one, you can attack with a quick charge as long as the barrier is still standing. This game is Anthem done right, well, oof. Well, Delric is the largest and most productive mining town in the kingdom. Bro, Don't we got here. Just to go looking for you if you get lost. We visited like yeah, two different yeah. towns within a span of under two hours, bro. So, uh, <laughs> what's our next move? First thing tomorrow morning, we go pay a visit to the resident Eatrimancer. All I did was move forward a little bit. Okay, see you around. Oops, sorry about that. New character? It's quite all right. You're not hurt, are you? Uh oh. Oh, I'm fine. Never seen you here before. Analyze. But if you're feeling under the weather, don't hesitate to drop by the infirmary. The Iatromancer there is one of the best in the business, so you'll be in good hands. All right, gotta run. That was strange. Don't he look like Alpha Nine? Oh! <laughs> I wanted to play more. Marks the end of the demo. Purchase the full version. You really like that gameplay. You should play the full game when it releases in October. October 27th, I think. Which was it? Damn, man. I was getting into it. I was already into it. But yeah, I'm definitely picking up the real game. But the fact. 
the Duma, the Duma like exploration system is what really made this super special to me. I was already getting into it with the cool things you can do with the combat, what right? But they give you this stupid thing that lets you like fly around and do stuff. I'm like, dude, that is so fun. That is actually fun. Now the thing is that the only bad thing about it is you'll be zipping around, zooming, and you might like overlook like treasures. You might be like skipping past enemies, not getting the EXP or whatever. And I'm like, I don't really care. I get to move. The freedom to move is pretty cool. The thing is, we didn't even get to play as the other character, right? And uh, I think playing as, because uh, the game forces you to play with Raymond first, which is like one character's perspective on the story. And then if you play with Leticia, you play as her. She's the main character for that uh, segment. And then it's like, you still get Raymond, I'm pretty sure. It's just the events are in different perspectives. So it'll be interesting to see how that works out in the full game. I might just, I might just play it under uh, Leticia's when the game, when the full game comes out. I don't know. I haven't decided on it yet, but um, yeah, this seems pretty good. This game actually seems fun just based off of just to compare like five to six or this Star Ocean from the previous Star Ocean game. This one is definitely already 10 times better than what they was doing with five because five was not it chief. Five did a little bit. It didn't do enough. Five was like a potential thing. It had all the potential in the world, but it just didn't live up to it. This game, the exploration, the combat seems fun. Um, just all the little skill tree stuff. We didn't even unlock out all the mechanics. Clearly, there was still a whole bunch of stuff they wanted to tell us, but we didn't unlock everything. So clearly, they, that was a nice little taste test. This demo was actually a nice little demo. I'm definitely looking forward to playing more in October. So this, I'm definitely going to be playing the full game, doing a full playthrough too. So that's it for the first demo for Demolition Day. Hope you guys enjoy the content on YouTube. I will see you guys for more Star Ocean probably in the future in October. So look forward to it. And uh, thanks for watching the video. See you guys later. God damn.